Okay, I'm Chris Avina, and welcome to another episode of the American Outdoor News Podcast. Today, we have Chris Parnell from uh, Camo Dust. Chris, thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me, Chris. Now, Camo Dust is a family business. Absolutely. Yes, how sir. Did, how did it get started? So we started, uh, it got started originally as a poultry product that went in chicken houses to eliminate the ammonia smell in poultry houses. So uh, my grandpa, uncle, and dad started the business, and then uh, Camo Dust is just a byproduct, byproduct from that. Uh, ammonia hold, we could, we could take an air quality sample test in a poultry house, and the ammonia level would be in the 500 range, 500 parts per million. Uh, three days after our litter was on the ground, uh, chickens were on the house or in the house. Three days later, you could pull a, the same quality sample and we could have it down below five parts per million. So we had a, a top-notch product uh, uh, for the poultry business. And then, uh, you know, that's just a seasonal deal while the curtains are down. So you're looking for, they were looking for a part to add on to the business to make it a more than just a seasonal uh -huh. and uh, went into the cat litter uh, business as a, an additive for cat litter. So we uh, had a company called, we uh, cat litter named Better Way that we would add our cat litter to. <clears throat> and it was sold uh, for several years. And then when you're processing all this poultry product and the cat litter, and we had some stuff that went in barn guard that went in horse stalls and, and cow stalls, you know, to, to take the odor down. Uh, you have these fines and we had a warehouse full of, of fine powder that was the same stuff. And, and my dad uh, was hunting. We're big, big deer hunters always have been. My dad has always hunted. And it was around 1995, uh, him and some buddies had been hunting and they got to asking him, you know, he's got all this, all this products for taking scent away. Does he have anything for the human scent? And he got to thinking and, and uh, went to the, the drawing board and came up with camo dust. So he invented it around 1995 and, and they carried it uh, to the deer woods. I think, I think it might've been a week or two later, uh, the next trip into the woods with the big tube sock, you know, filled it up full of dirt and three guys carried one sock in and they walked to one spot and they all powdered down and kind of laughed about knocking each other down with a big sock full of dust. But the results were phenomenal. Uh, public land bow hunting and the deer you know it it changed the game there's no you know they just downwind uh deer never reacted you know so it's been just like that since now there's been a lot of um controversy or you know uh there's a lot of different ways to look at it how important is scent control and it so you can beat, well, they've been killing deer with buffalo plaid for hundreds of years, right? Yeah. The deer, they, it, because of the way the shapes are on the jacket, you know, if you get something that breaks your, breaks your silhouette up in the woods, you can wear khaki out there and be just fine. <clears throat> khaki overalls. A lot of guys will wear dickies out there and be successful. Cool. Uh, deer are brown most of the and then they turn red and then they're gray you know so those solid colors but it's all how you you silhouette yourself so you can hide from a deer's eyes right you can beat their eye you can beat their ear by being real still you can quiet yourself sit in the box stand and beat their ears so you can beat their eyes and their ears but how do you beat that nose that nose is unbelievable and they've been bred for centuries to run from us because we're we're their a number one predator next to a cow right Sure. Or a wolf or something like that. So they're going to run from no sense. Well, I think it's I think it's very important. You know, it's a uh, to be scent free because I can get still and I can get quiet, but they can always smell me. So what's the thing to do? You powder down. Uh, the way camo dust works, it's a it's a dry powder. It's dry for one. That's the that's the thing I love about it. I mean, right now the market is saturated with liquids. Uh, yeah. We're the only dry market. Our dirt's the only dry dirt on the market the only dry scent eliminator on the market uh so we've taken a, a dirt we dried the moisture out of it uh, the human scent molecules moisture so we've had to have a way for the 
our dirt to re, to how are you going to get it to connect to the human scent? Well, we we started with dust, a certain type of dirt that we we mine, and then we put it through a patented process. And when uh, you powder your body down, you, it saturates. It's so fine; it's finer than talc. And if you as you dust your body, it saturates the pores of your clothes and acts as a barrier. So it's not a masking agent or a cover scent. It's a it's a wall that as your human scent flows through, which the human scent is moisture, when it flows mm -hmm. through your clothes, it latches onto that dry dirt. And the process, the patented process, we put the dirt through neutralizes and eliminates the human scent. So you're sitting out there, you know, I'm not going to say you're virtually scent free, but you're, you've knocked it way down. Even if you're not scent free, you're 30 yards at full draw and he thinks you're at 300, you know, or if yeah. he doesn't smell you at all, uh, it takes for one uh, Without a doubt, it takes the fear and flight out of the deer. I mean, I've, I've seen hundreds of deer, you know, within 20 yards of me cross my trail that I walked in on. Well, they may stop, pick their nose up and smell, but then they go right back to business. They go to doing deer things. So, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't alarm them. Uh, now, I, I've watched a lot of your videos online and a lot of testimonials, and the animal comes in incredibly close. Right. Um, it changes the game. Now, there's a lot of cover scents or masking scents out there that are sprays. What's the difference between a cover scent or masking scent and camo mm -hmm. dust? So camo dust completely eliminates the human scent. We're not even trying to let the deer know you're there. A cover scent is, is, ex is exactly what it's doing. It's like taking a golf ball and painting it with a sharpie. It's still a golf ball, but now it smells like a sharpie. So, yeah. you know, you can smell. That's what the deer's smelling. He's smelling that loud odor that you're putting out there. It's still, it could be skunk. It could be coon pee. Coon pee's horrible. I don't know why anybody, nobody has to do that anymore. It's awful. It's an awful fox pee. You know, I've got buddies that trap. They love to trap because we, we care about turkeys, right? Everybody wants, you want your turkey population to be great. Only way to beat it is to, to do away with the predator. So we trap possums, coons, all this stuff. These guys aren't having to wear that nasty junk out there anymore. They're they're using camo dust to get rid of their scent. And then they're dusting their set down instead of having to squirt all that other junk. And they're catching dogs the first set or cats the first set. They're not having to wait a day or two to, to catch an animal on a set, you know, after you let the dew kind of press your scent and then they've got the cover scent. It's camo dust out there doing, it. you know. It's, In the old days, you, you, you know, you put raccoon pee on or whatever. Right. And you're covering it you're up. Well, you're covered in piss. Know. Yeah, and you stink. And your, your wife's going to be mad at you. Your truck stinks. You got to take all your clothes off. It's, it's absolutely horrible. Camo dust, all you got to do is buy a can of six ounces in a sock. And it'll last you six to eight hunts. And, uh, you know, so camo dust completely eliminates it. Uh, cover scent, you're still putting it out there. It's just, it's just something different. And then a masking agent, uh, it, it's basically just like a cover scent, you know, or, or uh -huh. uh, you're, you're boogering up there. You're making them smell something different. Well, they're walking through the woods. They know they've never smelled that much coon pee, you know, in a, in a spot or fox pee or, you know, something, a fox, yep. you know, so it just, why let him know you're there? Why not? That's my hope. That's what I tell everybody. I don't want them to know I'm there unless I'm calling to them or sticking them with an arrow. So, yep. you know, that's, uh, you know, it's too late by that point. I don't, you know, I don't want them to know we're there. So it's, uh, that's what makes Camo Dust so great. All right. Well, we're going to take a quick break to acknowledge some of our sponsors. Um, of course, Underwood Ammo, uh, always a standard of excellence. Uh, fantastic ammo. Check them out. Um, Underwoodammo.com. Uh, pyro putty and phone scope, uh, always an innovative product, always making products you should keep in your backpack at all times. Check them out as well. And um, Hunt of a Lifetime. Uh, you're going to hear from them in a second. Be right back. We love our children. We protect them. We guide them. We prepare them for life in the world. With all that we do, from deep in our hearts, we cannot control all things. Life-threatening illnesses and disabilities affect far too many of our children each year. While we cannot change the circumstance, we can make dreams come true. Dreams to provide hope, to provide spiritual healing and strength. 
to provide moments of happiness and relief in the hardest of times. We can give a glimmer of light and hope in a time of darkness and despair. Join huntofalifetime.org to help make dreams come true, to provide hope for children with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Hunt of a Lifetime is a nonprofit organization fulfilling dreams for hunting and fishing trips to youth 21 and under with life-threatening illnesses and disabilities. Visit huntofalifetime.org to learn how you can make a difference. Okay, and we're back with Chris Parnell from Camo Dust. Chris, this product sounds amazing. I can't wait to put it on in the woods. I know you sent me some samples and I'm going to be giving, doing some giveaways uh, as well. Now, what sets it apart from all the other products out there? I mean, there's so many cover scents, masking scents, mm -hmm. this scent. Uh, uh, what makes Camo Dust so different? Well, you, you, we're the only dirt, we're the only dry scent eliminator on the market. There's no, I mean, you eliminator, that's the key. Scent eliminator. We're not a cover scent or a masking agent and we're dry. So you're not out there squirting yourself down in 30 degree weather, you know, drenching your body in, in liquid when you're cold. You know, it just makes for a, a more, a, funner hunt you know you're not sitting out there starting off at five o'clock in the morning soaking wet and going to crawl up on a deer stand and sit there in a eight mile an hour breeze 30 degree weather waiting on a buck let's have a fun hunt let's powder down saturate uh -huh. all the pores of your clothes with dust and and know that you're, I, the way our dust works it saturates every pore of your clothes you know it's so fine it's finer than talc so just a little eight ounce or a little six ounce sock is going to last you six to eight hunts. So I don't, I, I, I don't want to use the bottle. I don't want to be wet. I've got, of course, it's easy for me to say my dad invented it, you know, so it's all I've ever used. It's all I've ever known. I don't get busted by deer, so I'm not going to change. There's a lot of deer hunters that say, I'm going to stick with what works. But if somebody come along and told me there was something better or easier, I would be chemo dust. It's dry. I'm not squirting myself when it's cold weather or 17 degrees. I'm not squirting my nine-year-old little boy with a bunch of liquid and then going sitting in 17 degree weather so we can hunt on his birthday. That that just make a miserable hunt. Sure. But he's got his own sock. You know, he goes out there and dusts down. He's right in the middle of the hunt. He's, you know, he's waiting on a deer. And, uh, you know, he has more fun. He, last year he shot two back to back. You know, it was, uh, he shot a, uh, his very first buck, he waited all season long the season before and hunted, I think we hunted like 17 trips. And every trip was was excited. He didn't get tired. He didn't get sick of hunting. He, he's patterned down. He's using the grunt call. You know, we're learning stuff in the woods. We're seeing deer. I've taken him and my daughter, and we always see deer. You know, we're not getting busted in the woods with, with three of us sitting in a stand, in a ladder stand, you know. And, uh, you know, Beckett was successful last year. Uh, Shot an eight pointer and then four minutes later shot another one. I shot a wow. bigger. He best he bettered his buck. <laughs> shot a nine pointer like four minutes later. It come out in the same spot and uh, you know so he he uh he had a good season last year. But he was you know camo dusted down and uh and he was dry and it was cold. You know so he's sitting there in cold weather in Arkansas and we're dry. You know that's the that's the that's the game changer for me. Now it's I a gotta... scent eliminator that's not a spray. We're the market saturated with sprays cover scents, earth scents, you know, not knocking anybody else's product, but I'm, I'm the only, we're the only dry scent eliminator out there. I, I got to ask you, how did you come up with the sock application? Man, this good old yeah. boy, redneck ingenuity. Wait, that's did, exactly what it how is. How did you guys how come I, up with that? <laughs> well, you, a pepper shaker put too much out. So, you know, you, <laughs> it, my dad back in 90. <laughs> So back in 95, they were sitting at Sonic, him and, and two buddies. They just finished hunting, coming, got blown at. And, uh, you know, we're sitting here with this business, putting it in poultry houses, eliminating the ammonia smell. And and one of them said, you don't have anything out. You don't have anything. You can't work any magic. Figure out something and, and eliminate. And Dad said, you know, I'll, I'll start working on it. Well, he's got all this, this thing, broke out the chemistry equation, made it work. And then how do you apply? So how are you going to do it? Well, you take a sock, you dump in. I mean, his tube sock now is this long. I mean, it's it's two foot long from when he used it, you know, and it's wide. But he just, 
you know, I don't, there's no telling how much you put in it to start with, but, uh, you know, you wanted to, you make a plume of dust out there in the woods, you know, when you whack yourself with the sock, you know, I'm sure you've opened it up. I've got one right here. You know, you can see that dust. Well, it gets off how fine it is. It's just in the, and you use it as a wind checker, you know? Is it's, that uh, one of your uh, old dirty Adidas socks that you use when you play ball? Uh, What's the deal with that? Well, we, we went a little <laughs> high-tech. get the socks from? <laughs> we've ordered the socks now. We, we've got a great sock manufacturer that'll that'll cut the socks for us and, and fix us up and send us in send us in they send them to us in bulk so okay. uh, and then we just we've got a machine that dumps the, the material into the sock and then we've got a we have been for the last three years uh zip tying the sock closed now we've we've got a bread tie we've got a tie machine and we tie them shut now you can you a lot of guys i put one in every can every can is loaded when you open the can you just pull the sock out you start powdering down from from your your pants uh, concentrate on your crotch your armpits and your head those are the three scent main scent manufacturer uh, places in your body uh, okay. put a bunch of dust there and then uh and don't miss anything in between you know it's uh, a and then with the sock getting to figure it figuring out what grade a sock to where it doesn't let too much out or it lets just enough out it it was a there's a science behind every little intricate part of this whole uh, this whole thing that we've had to go through and try to figure out, you know, we deal with our, our sock manufacturer and, and he's tested socks. We test socks. Uh, he uses our product, uh, understands how it works and, and uh, you know, how you don't want to, you don't want somebody to go out there and only get three hunts because they shook the sock and yeah. four ounces come out, you know, you want it to, you want it to last, you want to get a good coverage. So uh, we've, we've been through, that and, and I think we've got that pretty much perfected. So, how long does it last each application? Just I, I like to I like to say every sock lasts six to eight hunts. The application now, uh, depending on how heavy you put it on your body, uh, that dust doesn't have a shelf life. It will st it will sit there and soak up a human scent molecule until it does or until it gets wet. Uh, if it soaks up moisture or a scent molecule. So if I had a can. And I put it on the shelf 25 years from now, as long as it was dry, that can would, Still I could pull it out and kill the deer with it that afternoon. Absolutely. So uh, I like to tell people a sock, a can will last them uh, six to eight hunts. It just depends on how much you use or how far you walk. Uh, I've got, I've got a spot here in Arkansas that's public land. It's a, it's over two miles. It's, it's <laughs> between two and three miles from the truck. And so I have you... to walk around a big beaver, beaver pond. So, I mean, it's, it's just a long tote. I might go through a little more socks uh, when I'm hunting back there, but it's only a certain. I try not to do it first of the season. I I let them, I let them go when it's hot and bad mosquitoes. Uh, I'll wait till pretty weather. So if you sent the case of this to the uh, to the set of The Walking Dead, the show would have been over after the first season. They're not smelling them. You got that right. <laughs> They're just walking around normal. You got that right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no scene. Great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so where can we find you guys? I know you're on Amazon, yeah. you, uh, Absolutely. you have your website. Where, where can we buy your product? And is it I'm, in stores? It's in stores. We're, we're mainly local right now in Arkansas. Any of your viewers, if they have a bow shop that they're interested in carrying camo dust, uh, I'm more than willing to stick it in every store in the nation. Uh, I don't, it doesn't matter uh, where, what state. I'm in, I think, 35 stores here in Arkansas a couple in North Carolina, Alabama, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Texas, uh, you know, pretty just building my my business as we go. As, as people hunt with it or they see it on the internet and they order a can, they go to their local bow shop and they say, hey, you got to start carrying this stuff. It's unbelievable. And uh, and that's the great thing about camo dust. It's all you know, social media, but it, it's built from word of mouth, from guys that have hunted with it, that have told their buddies, that have told their buddies. And and then it's just, they're posting pictures of of big deer. Their deer are growing. You know, I've, I've got a buddy that that three years ago had two Pope and Young. And in three years since using chemo dust, he's got 11 more on his wall now. So, I mean, wow. he's, he's traveling to different states. It's changed his game. Uh, you know, he's hunting, he's hunting more and hunting where big deer are, but he'll, He'll tell you that camo dust is a 
a huge asset uh, and has helped has helped change the game for him. So I've got another buddy that has 27 Pope and Young bucks that he's killed using camo dust. Uh, these big deer, and, and I keep saying deer, Chris, it's for anything that has a nose. It's for deer, elk, bear, hog, predator. Uh, you, you can go harness. shoot a cape buffalo. Yeah. First guy that kills a cape buffalo with using camo dust over in Africa, and he shoots a cape buffalo and he sends me a picture with a can. I'll give him, a, I'll give him two cases for free. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm telling you, I, I know – I, I want to, you know, I'd like, I'd love I'll to see it over there. I'll put it in the right there. hands. What you need yeah. right now, you need a distributor for the Northeast. <clears throat> absolutely, uh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just let me know. Just start giving me a list of stores, man, and I and I'll stick it there. Uh, Amazon, absolutely, Amazon. You can get it on Amazon or camodust.com. You can pick it up there, and then, uh, you know, ask your local bow shop to start carrying it. They give me a call. Uh, I'll I'll get them however many cases they want to start carrying. I, I, I love how it's, I've watched it progress from in the last three years. Uh, these stores around here in Arkansas have, they started off with two, maybe three cases. And I just had a guy call today and his first order for the season is 10 cases. Wow. So he's, and he knows he's fixing to order. Uh, he's fixing to order by the end of September. He'll probably order another 10 cases. He's, He's a, a big store here in central Arkansas, and he sells a bunch of cans. I mean, it's a, the guys around here, the guys in Arkansas know about it. They don't hunt without it. I mean, it's a, once you hunt with it once, uh, it, that's what everybody says, man. When you use yeah. it that first time, it becomes a necessity. It's, there's two things you got to have when you want to kill big deer, big elk, bear, whatever. It's whatever you're going to stick them with and a can of camo dust. It's uh, yeah, even, even for turkey, you know, you, yeah, if you don't absolutely. smell, but the other game does. So that's right. If, if you're going to scare a deer, the turkey you're going to run too. Yep. I, I have actually, it, it's sad to say, but I have turkey hunted without camo dust on and had deer blow at me. You know, so you go back to camp, you reach in the back of the truck and you powder down. You don't let that happen. To you. you know, here in Arkansas, we only get 17 days to turkey hunt. So you've got to make the most of it powder down I, anytime i go in the woods uh i powder down when i'm running game cameras i'm powdered down i don't want that deer i hunt public ground 98 percent of the time the rest of the time i'm with my kids on a little 40 acre patch that is right next to the public ground that i hunt uh i dust down when i'm running game cameras i don't want the deer to know that i'm there you know uh and now i'm running bait they're gonna know on the on the private ground that that I've just put corn out and I put acorns out and I put soybeans or you know whatever I've thrown out to feed the deer they know that's there but I don't want them to know and I can I can tell you from my game camera pictures on days that that I don't dust down and I go in there and I throw all that food out it may be an hour and a half anywhere from one at least an hour to three or four hours before I see deer in the camera on days I throw all that food out and I'm powdered down, it's 30 minutes. It's less than an hour. Those deer are in there. Those deer are not pressured in July at all by anybody. Yep. And for them, for, for my scent to take that long to leave or for them to just not like something about that setup, I don't go in the woods without powdering down. I powder my cameras down because I don't want them to know I'm in there. I'm toting that feed in there, mm -hmm. uh, not riding a four-wheeler up to it. Guys will ride four-wheeler side-by-side up. That's fine. You know, so you, but but still dust your body down because so they'll you hear those side stand, by sides you going. Dust you blind, you but you dust everything. Absolutely, I, I, everything that has human sin on it, or if I'm sitting in a, if I'm going to hunt a blind with the kids, I'm dusting the outside. I'm definitely dusting us and the inside of the of the blind. Uh, I don't want that that scent to just shoot out of like a like a chim like a it look like a smoke stack of human scent going out that window. So I want to make sure I, I definitely want to eliminate the scent coming out of that blind. Even, you know, people say I stand hunt or here in Arkansas, tower hunt or, uh, you know, a big stand that's 15, 20 feet off the ground. It's a box stand. Well, it's still, when you open that window, there's that scent leaving out of there, you know? Now you yep. can stretch out and shoot them at 300 yards, but what about those deer that are, you know, 15 or 20 that are standing uh, in the wheat field that the wind's got to blow through 
to get to that buck, you know, they blow and then he leaves, you know? So, uh-huh. yeah. The name of the game is to not let them know you're there. And, uh, grizzly bear, you know, whatever you're hunting. Well, we, uh, definitely going to be using your product this season. Uh, mm-hmm. A lot of people I know and come in contact with, they're going to get samples as well. And uh, we'll talk about a New York distributorship uh, after we finish up here. <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds good. I can't wait. I can't wait to see the pictures. I can't, you know, you guys kill a kill a deer. You send me a picture with camo dust. Uh, we have a big buck classic here in Arkansas every year uh, in January, end of January. And all the people in our kill deer that want to have it measured, uh, you bring your deer up and there's a big wall. Uh, we do it in, in a big arena. And uh, you get your wall up there with a with an official uh, score, Pope and Young or Boone and Crockett, and uh, you're official then. But if you send, whether you enter your deer or not, into the Arkansas Big Buck Classic, I set up a booth every year and uh, I have a 70 inch TV screen with, uh, I try to get the some of the best deer that were killed that year. Uh, and I put them in the booth so people can see. I've got buddies that, that always kill hammers and and I'll post them or a bear. I had a buddy kill a bear one year that was really big, uh, 375 pound hog. I've had it at the booth, but I try to set that year's uh, harvest of the best ones that that people want to say, hey, you can use that at the Big Buck Classic. Usually it's close buddies, but uh, I post them up. But I like to tell people whether you enter your deer or not, I'm going to put your your picture. If I put it on the Facebook page, your picture's, picture's going to be at the Big Buck Classic. So I run it on a loop and and put all the pictures from the Facebook page on there and and uh, and just let people, you know, see your picture of your deer. So I'm excited. I'm excited about this season. It's starting to get in a lot of hands. And, and uh, I love hearing – my favorite thing to hear is, is guys say, man, that, it was straight – it was my best buck and he was straight downwind, you know, 15 yards straight downwind, 15 yards dead downwind, yep. you know, and uh, and it's their best buck. It's my best buck, you know. That's my, my favorite thing to hear is it, it's my best buck yet. You know, and and they they give camo dust the credit. They still had to make the shot, you know, and they had to put yourself in the right situation. But sure. but uh, you know, for for me to have an opportunity to uh, to give them, you know, give them a, a quality product that that I don't worry about. You know, it's a it's one of them things when you watch hunting shows and guys get busted. I I think to myself, man, I wish I had a can of camo dust. You know, so it's a uh, one of those deals where. What's the tagline you use? Don't get dusted. Don't get busted. <laughs> yeah, don't get don't get busted. Get dusted. That's All right. right. <laughs> and trust the dust. You got to trust the dust. That's a lot. That's a that's the main thing. You know, I've guys will call and say, "Are you sure?" I'm absolutely positive. I've I've used it. We test every batch that runs through. Uh, we have a rigorous process to make sure it's going to do what it's supposed to do. And and once we send it out there, we know it's it's legit. You keep it dry. You now listen. You can't go into the local gas station wearing your hunting clothes. Walk through uh, two puddles of gasoline. Go in there where they're cooking fried chicken and bacon first thing in the morning, and then walk out there and expect to kill 170 inch deer. You've got to be lucky, you know. And I can't, I can't take Chicken Shack juice and and uh, gasoline out of your clothes. But if yeah. you if you take good scent precaution, you know, keep your hunting clothes clean and. And we just attack the human scent. Uh, it, it'll it'll make Plus you. Unless you're going bear hunting, you could go into the woods smelling <laughs> like chicken and bear. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you want to go buy donuts and get you know, really smell good. <laughs> you're exactly right. Uh, yeah. Man. All right. Well, I appreciate your time. I look forward yes, to uh, taking some video and and getting that out there for you as well. And uh, like we said, go to camodust.com. And uh, you can find you on Amazon. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast and check out uh, check out your website. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Facebook page also. Yep. And Facebook. Thanks, Chris. All right. Appreciate your time. And uh, we'll get back to you on uh, how the results are. Perfect. Can't wait. And we're out.